What's up, guys? I just wanted to do a quick little peek at this Red Cat Gen 8 Scout 2 I picked up. There's the box. Um, a couple quick little things I've noticed um, right off the bat. I think Red Cat's really trying to step up their game, like, unbelievably. These tires um, feel great. Obviously, I haven't ran this thing yet. Um, I threw a battery in it, ran around the garage floor a little bit. So I don't know how these are going to do, but they feel really good compared to what I've gotten from Red Cat in the past. Like, these feel nice. I think these are going to be usable. This body, like, I don't know if I'm going to like the Velcro yet or not. Like, I, I like the idea of it. Sometimes if you don't really, like, grab it here and, and pin it, it don't seem to hold real well. But once it's on there, it's locked down pretty good. Um, so we'll see how that does. What's up, Liam? Checking out the new truck. Yeah, I like big uh, body. Liam likes it because the body's bigger. So one thing I kind of noticed right off the bat, um, I'm not real happy about. You know how your your links usually have these little the ball cup and has the chrome like ball in there and you know that's that's pretty good and tight this side see how loose that is that's crazy amount of slop in the steering and i looked on the exploded view and it didn't look like this side's supposed to have that um but why i'm not really sure i don't know if it has to flex you know when this thing's Shift them back and forth or what, but it seems like it's gonna wear pretty quick with that much play in it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, middle arm on the servo is nice. Hopefully it holds up better than some of the metal ones I've had that look similar. Um, but that's a nice touch for you know the money you pay. I paid two sixty nine for this thing, so it's unbelievable value um, for what you're getting, uh, Red Cat's really giving you a lot for the price in, in my eyes. Like I said, these tires feel pretty nice. And did I mention you get a spare full-blown wheel and tire, like usable spare? That's insane. <laughs> uh, servo kind of seems like typical Red Cat servo. <laughs> Not much there. Uh, it does okay. I mean, it turns the wheels and tires fine. I had to see what it does on some rock when it gets in a bind, if it's able to still turn turn okay. It's a Hexfly HX15S or something like that. I don't know. I've had a bunch of those Hexflies, and they're all junk. Like, I don't even know if it's still here or not, but the one time I had, like, that's a different one. But the one time I had, like, 15 of them in that drawer, just like taking up, taking them apart and using the gear from one and another. But uh, that's probably gonna get changed anyways. Usually I'll run them till they die. Most red cats, that could be three minutes, could be five minutes, could be two days, who knows. But I'll get what I can get out of it. Hopefully it don't leave me stranded on a, you know, a trail or something. And I have to deal with it right then, but so far, this is a pretty cool looking truck. Um, I've never had one that's quite so trail like set up, I guess. Um, this is definitely not like a massive rock crawler. Um, you know, it's more of a trail truck. You can see the flex in it. It's gonna be able to do some things, but um, I've had the Red Cat RS10. Uh, I have the Viterra. This Viterra does awesome for uh, what it is because it's a little more trail truck. Um, and then these things, of course, the RS10, like you can see that thing is just beat. Um, I let the kids run it, it'll go anywhere. And honestly, that Viterra will go almost as good as as that rs10 which is 
saying something because that thing's pure rock crawler motor on axle um, that sort of thing so this is uh, definitely trail oriented and um, we like to do like hill climbing and stuff so I thought it would be pretty cool for that I want to get some brass stuff for the front um, really weight this front down and I mean you have all kinds of places you can mount stuff I mean I may put a fan on here because weight in the front end is not going to hurt anything and then you've got a fan to keep cool um, that's pretty cool if they give you that basically built into the frame um, to mount a fan so that's that's cool they were thinking ahead there um, like I said you can mount you know wheel weights or anything up here and they have tons of brass stuff for the portal axles and the hexes I may do the uh, they have some hexes that are brass that are a little wider it'll bring the wheels and tires out a little wider I think it'd look cool um, I did pick up well, let's talk about what this kind of comes with of course, you get the manual and your radio. Um, radio feels good for, you know, cheap RTR kind of thing. For $269, it's great. You have all of your adjustments. Um, and they seem to work really well. Steering, throttle, all that stuff. Usual RTR radio. But it feels good. I like the simple, simple, you know, concept of it. Um, not looking for some, anything too crazy for RTR, so it's nice what you pay for, 269 again, dirt cheap for this thing. I mean, look at the detail of this thing. Actually a three-dimensional grill on here, you know, it's not just a sticker. Um, it's cool, pretty cool. But you get, um, in your package, like I said, you get the extra wheel and tire. It's an awesome add-on. Um, and it comes with the uh, a little bracket that you can pop a hole in there and actually mount it on the back. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that. I don't like a whole lot of weight in the back. I'm making me tipsy, so might not do it. I think it looks cool because this body is a little plain to me. Um, I think a roof rack would look good on it. It just seems like it's just, I don't like all this wide open bare up here. I don't know why, but uh, it just seems a little bare. And then I want to maybe see if these are stickers. I think these are stickers. I want to pull these and they make some clear ones. Um, basically that they're clear and it just still shows the trim like so you know it's a window. Definitely going to do that because I think clear windows look so much better. But anyways, looks like you get Fine plug, um, straw for the antenna. Uh, I'll throw that on in a minute. You get extra of these little wheel caps. And I wasn't 100% sure. I guess those just pop on. It's, that's another thing. These are pretty cool to me. They felt like they screwed on. Yeah. I guess they kind of screw on. Yeah, down, deep down inside there. It has screws, so. To me, it just, it's like an extra little added look. You know, you don't just see your standard wheel nut. It's like a hubcap kind of thing. It makes it look a little more real. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's just an extra touch to frame. Like nice metal rails. Um, these are plastic, the dry shafts, but like the yokes here or whatever you call them are metal. Feel pretty good. They're not... Probably not Traxxas quality, um, a little thinner, you know, but for RTR, these rees are metal. And, you know, most Traxxas, it's all plastic, so that's pretty good. Let me take a look here. It's got the portal axles, is cool. Um, you can get aluminum and brass and stuff for the front. Um, these little covers for the gear case, actually metal. That's cool. And then back. Both metal. So I got this plate goes on here. I guess I'm like that, maybe. Get into those two bolts. So let me just help it maybe slide over stuff instead of having, I know there's been some people kind of complaining about, they think this will get hung on this and that. Um, so this kind of smooths that out a little. So that's pretty cool, it's like eight or 10 bucks, I think. And then I got these for the front. They mount up here. 
kind of cover some of this area to keep it from getting beat up. It does have deans, which is cool. They're like actually acknowledging that the, the old school banana plugs they've been putting on there. Uh, those old things, like never use those. They just cut them off. So it's cool that they went ahead and went with deans. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this front and rear is the same. You have this same mount right here for like a fan, so it's kind of crazy. I guess this thing could be completely spun around. Probably shares the same front and rear shock towers, maybe. Uh, I don't know. That's cool, but I really, I'm, I'm happy about this metal frame. Uh, that's pretty cool for, for Red Cat. Honestly, like I said, they're stepping it up. These are a nice touch. These feel like, I'm sure they're plastic just coated in that, but they feel good. They feel like they're, yeah, it's definitely plastic. I wonder if you can actually screw that out there. But front and back on those, hitch cover with the little red cap. That's pretty cool. It has a built-in hitch here. That looks pretty neat. Like I've seen that you can get like a, a ball and stuff to go in there. So I'm gonna check that out. That's a pretty cool touch. Little things they've done. I like the idea of all this. And the fenders inside here. Um, this all just seems pretty rigid. Like I said, we go through the creeks, mud, nasty stuff. Um, so hopefully this will help protect like some of the crap that normally gets slung up on them because I mean, like this thing is, I actually tried to blow it off a little, I think, but. You can see it has no fenders, nothing like that. So you can see how filthy that is. And that's just creek running. <laughs> You hear my tires, look at that. And that's been setting for like two or three weeks. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't do a lot with my crawlers. I don't, I don't like go through and shine them like I do. I mean, most of my race trucks, I try to keep fairly clean this buggy I just ran the other day. Everything else I keep fairly clean besides my crawlers. <laughs> uh, but my point is, this is cool. Fenders, this, these little side skirts. Hopefully it'll keep some junk off of these electronics. I don't see the motor and stuff getting as filthy as that one. Um, and I don't know, let's see how these break in. They're a little firm, like underneath. They're firm, but the tires feel really good. Like, I love these, and they were just some cheap old dirt tracks. But you can see how squishy they are. Sometimes you're like, fold the tire over on itself, like you'd be on a hill and it's just like completely folded over. But they grab like crazy. So I'll be curious how these do. Um, being more firm, you can tell. But they have a good feel to them. So maybe they won't fold over as bad. They'll give just enough. I don't know. They may be too hard and the truck wants to roll all the time. I don't know, we'll have to see. But anyways, I've rambled on about crap for long enough. But this is gonna be more of a trail truck. I'm gonna, you know, like I said before, I'm gonna do lights and this and that and set it up. So I really like this platform to start with. All this room up here, I mean, I may even put a, a S1 sound system on it. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, I have one. I have it in my drift car right now, actually, because um, it just sounds cool. But uh, I may even mount it on here somewhere. I could. I mean, there's all kinds of places. I could even just put it up here, and then that way it's extra weight in the front. It's a little speaker. Super cool. Um, so that would be neat to have some sound on this thing as well. So... Stay tuned. We'll see what we can do to this thing. Can't wait to get it out on the trail. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Going to be decking this truck out, seeing what we can do with a cheap $269 RTR crawler. Unbelievable. Can't wait. Peace.